Hey guys, so today we are going to see about traffic signs, traffic signals, and traffic instructions. So for example, you're going on your car, or as you're learning, you are with your instructor, and you reach a junction where you see a traffic sign that says stop and give way. Now we have seen in our previous video that the stop and give way sign means that you have to stop your car, you have to look left and right, and you have to see if there is any traffic from the left or right, and then you have to give way to that traffic. Even though there is no traffic in sight, but you still have to stop your car. At the same time, at the same junction, you see a traffic light that turns green. And with this green traffic light, we know that you have to move on. So there is a confusion that you may have in your mind whether to stop because of the traffic sign, because it asks you to stop, or because of the green light, you should just simply move on. Another thing might be that there may be an authorized person giving you some instructions and the instructions may be to stop. So if there is a conflicting traffic sign, a traffic signal and instructions whom you should follow. So let's see the answer. At first, the first priority or the hierarchy on the top of hierarchy is the instructions. So if you see an authorized person who is asking you to stop, that means irrespective of the traffic light and irrespective of the traffic sign, you simply have to stop. So first priority goes through the instructions. The second one is the traffic lights. So in absence of the instructions, you have to follow the traffic lights or traffic signals. So if it's green, you have to go. If it's red, you have to stop, irrespective of whether the traffic sign says a stop or traffic sign says it's a priority road and you can continue. And in absence of both instructions and the traffic lights, then you have to follow the traffic signs. So if it's a stop, you have to stop. And if it's a priority sign, you have to continue without considering the traffic coming from the, the left and right. So one may ask that why you find all three at the same junctions? So the answer is, that it may be at a dangerous junction if, for example, the traffic lights are stop working, then the traffic signs are there to manage the traffic. And the same goes for the instructions as well in case of any accident or if in case of any uh, anything that happened on the road that is so dynamic, then the traffic lights cannot take care of, then we have instructions or maybe construction, then we have instructions such that the traffic can be managed uh, in a safe way. So that's the purpose of having, maybe having all three at the same junction. So now we know that instructions come first, traffic lights, traffic signals come second, and then the traffic signs comes at the last. So next time when you drive, you know that here you don't have to stop because that's the green light and you don't have to consider the traffic sign. Thank you very much for watching and hope to see you in the next video.